going to start the truck turn the key let it cycle here about three five seconds okay there you go it's running <clears throat> got the air AC Mirror control and you got jack level right here. This is for the jack. This is your reversed lever drive one, two, three. This is your parking brakes. This is your air vent. Dusty here, so it's a little bit dirty. Uh, you got a CB radio here. Radio here. I'm gonna. This thing will slide out this way, uh, and then I'll show you. I'll turn everything on. The power. Here's your electric control box. And this is to turn on the generator. These are all the lights and all the switches for everything you need. Exterior outlets, everything you need. You can also start the generator from here, but it's running, as you can see, the light is red. So it's already running, I'll show you over there. Got a sink here, got a fridge, got a cabinet there, got an office here, and this door slides. This is office one, and there's office two, and then there's three and four. I'll slide this out for you. This door opens up too. You got curtains, they go up to about here. Air is working, nice and cold. This is the door that goes into the main cabin. And you got more cabinets, uh, like storage boxes here. You got a black water disposal, gray water, and it has a clean water tank. I'm not sure how big it is. I think it's like a hundred gallons. This right here is for the lift. So I have to unlock this. control here there is a wire this is the remote control I've not operated here so I don't know how to do it but I think you gotta unlock this safety and then you use this remote control it's pretty easy I just don't want to mess with it it's brand new and this thing is thing I believe with like 2,000 pound capacity or maybe more Tires are brand new. They're brand new tires. There's no rust on this truck. This truck has always been in Texas all its life. There's three AC vents, two here, and then there's one in the front. 
there is this other office here and then there is another office over there in the back I'll show you when I go from the inside let's close this door let's lock this up Open this door here. We also have awnings. It goes from here all the way to the back. These are like aluminum awning. They're very expensive. They usually cost between ten and twelve thousand dollars, and sometimes more. Uh, just unlock him here and then just open him up but anyway uh, here's the step for this uh, door and then you just walk right up like this to the main cabin there is the other AC This can be used as a mobile command, uh, medical response unit, could be used as a, for a blood drive, it could be used for all kinds of emergency situations. You can see there is a, one AC roof there and then there's two right here you can see. And there's also a satellite antenna on the very front right there. This is a 37 foot long, it's on a Freightliner chassis, 2004 model. It also has floor jacks right there where I'm pointing my finger, right there. So it can basically level your unit for you. Here's more storage box. Um, it's got one, two, three, there's like four entry doors. got big windows got window in the door you get plenty of lights inside you got a ladder that goes into the top you can put a backup camera like a latest model now here's the generator in the back it's 20 kW This is for ventilation, same here, and I believe this is for like drainage, water drainage. This is your fuel cap for diesel fuel, aluminum wheels, Alcoa, and then again brand new tires. You want to remove this rock. Uh, there is a hose that goes in and all that supplies are here. Here's your big massive I believe it's 240 connect. So if you go someplace and you need to connect from like outside electric, it's already set up here. That's to the house. And you got a power switches there, compartment lights, you got all kinds of outlets for phone, internet. This thing is amazingly built. You got a main power off here to the house batteries. And this is the slide. Let's see if we can slide this open. Quiet motor. It's a five-point Cummins engine. 
uh, gets about 10 miles a gallon. control gotta push this button to slide out there you go close back in easy you just have to have make sure it's on a level ground there you go I'll set this here it's got its own awning so it prevents from water and you know debris and stuff to keep it clean and then we'll just go inside go in from here I'm not sure which lights works where but we got everything works here. This is the uh, second office. Prevent this to keep sliding back and forth. Just put this here. Lock it up. So you got one office, you got two office. And you got all kinds of cabinets there. You got paperwork got lights lights works a second office more cabinets and there's a light switch this is the motor for the slide so it slides out here is a bathroom I uh, got a sink Let's see if there is a light switch. There you go. And then you also have an air vent. You can open this up and let get some fresh air like this. And this fan will run. See right now the air is coming. And if you open up more, this fan will start to work if the wind is strong enough. You just close it back up. Get some fresh air. Turn off the light. some chairs uh, you can actually cover this up if you wanted to so it doesn't look like it's messy this is the uh, third office and they got a fourth office here um, and I can feel some air here you got the lights okay you got more cabinets slide there's a fridge this could be used for like medicine blood if you collect blood uh, or anything like that these windows they slide open it's all solid just needs a cleanup door you can lock up this could be you know, there you know lock it off from inside you got your more cabinet you can put your brochures and templates Got a water cooler here, your cup dispenser, your AC vent here, and one here, and then one over there. So you got three AC in this unit. Again, let me show you here again. More cabinet, you can set up a computer here.
paperwork, cabinets, some pens. These are for alcohol dispenser, yeah. So these were used for, I believe, like, could be used for, like, drug testing, uh, on-site, uh, gloves, for medical gloves, could be used for blood, uh, you know, if you want to, people donate bloods. Uh, I think this one has a switch here. Uh, I think the power is off. Got another window here, you can slide it open to get some fresh air. And I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a fan. So you get some a fan, you got outlets here, you got a mop, everything works. Uh, place to hang some files. So it's a pretty clean unit, very well made. I think I, I remember they told me this thing cost about $350,000 to make. To build this whole unit so it cost a lot of money here's some storage for that let me just give you one look from here I'll close this up, exit this way. Gotta power off to the truck engine battery. Again, this is a 2004 Freightliner chassis. It's got uh, clean water tank, gray water, and black water tank. Um, so whenever you have dirty water, you can dispose of that. You can run it from outside power. Uh, this thing is uh, some sort of signage. I am not sure how to work it. Um, but you can put a digital one. I mean, this is already digital, but it's an old style. You can put like flat screen type LED uh, this is a oh yeah and here this is a, a level it tells you the indicator how level the ground is so it's on zero which is on green that's pretty much level and let me show you it's got 20,000 miles it also tells you a level here and let's see where the mileage is the generator has 1400 hours 1400 hours and it shows it's got 20,239 miles hope this works out for you and if you have any questions call me message me i'll end this video at this point